Hi, Bob McLeod here to talk about TNT MPD 3.0 and the more than 175 new features and enhancements. I've been beta testing this for about six weeks along with a thousand other beta test users and I am super excited about all these new features. Now I don't have time to talk about even a fraction of these new features so I want to just focus a few minutes on the most significant improvements and how you can take advantage of them. First, if you're a Mac user, just want to let you know that there's been uh, some great improvements in the Mac versions over the last eight months or so. And also 3.0, when you download it, it's actually going to check your Mac to make sure that it can run 3.0. When you create your new database in 3.0 or upgrade your database, it's going to walk you through a database password process so that you can create a secure password. A lot of organizations are concerned about the security of their confidential donor data and they want to protect that on your laptop or in the cloud. So there's a new encrypted password structure that will walk you through. Now if you're a PC user and you sync with Outlook, there's great improvements in the synchronization process that hopefully you'll find uh, very helpful. Um, specifically, it'll send a little icon here, that's nice, lets me know I sent this to Outlook. But more importantly, if the contact is married and the spouse has a separate phone or email, the Send Contact to Outlook feature will now send them as two separate contacts instead of one. And that's really nice because mobile phones expect husbands and wives to have separate contact information. This is how this looks on my iPhone. I've got Fred and Wilma Flintstone now as separate contacts and over here their own separate email and phone number, although shared numbers will go over to both. It also sends over a couple things about their MPD status, like their MPD phase, my last appointment and phone call, what year that is, who referred them, and the notes. Okay, let's take a look at TNT MPD itself and see some of these new features. And I started with that in Outlook because some of the most significant changes are right here in the married couple area. And these are things that you'll need to update manually because TNT MPD cannot know how you did it originally. So you have to do this manually. So let's look at these phone numbers here. If I double click in the telephone box here on the address tab, I see that Fred and Wilma, their mobile phone numbers are both under the name here because it used to be just mobile phone and car phone. So what I'm going to do is manually cut and paste this over here and then delete these tags because they're no longer necessary. So now Fred and Wilma have separate mobile phone numbers. This is going to take you a little while to update yours but it's time well spent. Same with their email and uh, addresses. It used to be just email one and email two. Well now Fred and Wilma have their own separate emails. So I'm going to cut and paste that and delete these labels. Again, it's going to take you a few minutes to do those with your database, but it's time well spent. Now, if Fred has a business address like he does here, one nice new feature is that the business name that he works for now has its own field instead of having to be combined in the address. Same with organizations like a church. If you have a church where you have a care of address such as the pastor or a missions committee or a Sunday school class, now that contact person has their own separate field instead of having it in the address. Now that's a nice feature just for organization purposes, uh, organizing your database, but it also has another critically helpful thing and that is there's a new map button here with an integrated Google map right in the database. And now I can click on that, it's going to show me all of the addresses for the current group or the specific one I've selected. or I can click the status and it's going to show me the color dot based on their giving status. So this is an integrated Google map right inside the TNT MPD database. Okay, back here in the contact view, let's just start moving over these tabs. The MPD tab here, not much change here. In fact, only one thing, but it's huge. And that is the send newsletter checkboxes here, along with the option to choose paper or email or both. Now people have been asking for this for years, so this is a great improvement. Now I don't have time to explain all of the nuances of this, nor do I have time to explain how to take your email newsletter group and migrate that over uh, as easily and efficiently, or if you're using a user field to do it. But there is a separate newsletter video that specifically talks about all the nuances of newsletters, so I recommend you watch that if you want to know more about that. Also here on the tools menu is a new newsletter tools helper and it just walks you through the process of doing your monthly newsletter whether it's paper or email just to make sure you do all of the steps and to make it easier for you. Okay, I'm going to go over here all the way over to the right the personal tab which 
isn't called the personal tab anymore. Now it's the family tab because this tab really is the relationship of the family. So I look at Fred and Wilma, I see here's their children information, their church. And now notice again, Fred and Wilma are distinctly separate with their own information. Here's Fred's business name again, Slate Gravel. It's actually always been on this screen, but now it's the same field here as it is on the address tab. Same exact field, just two different places. Also on what used to be the user tab, now you can rename this tab to whatever you want. And you may, you may not have known this, but you could always do this. Just double click on these user field names and rename them to whatever you want if you're using them as custom fields. All right, now I want to look at tasks and history because this is where many of us spend the bulk of our time when we're actually using TNT MPD. About one fourth of all of the changes in 3.0 are in the tasks and history area. When I click log history, I see these task types, which obviously should be familiar to you. But here's the big five appointment, call, email, letter, and thank. And then there's some new ones. So we've got the newsletter one, which was there before, but now the e newsletter. And both of these, by the way, are mass mailing. So I can view or hide these in any contact. Now there's some new messaging ones. There's Facebook and text or SMS. Now these don't integrate with TNT MPD yet, but occasionally a partner posts something that I think is significant and I want to keep. So I can copy and paste that in here using one of these task types. Or if I'm integrated with MailChimp and I'm using that, there's a MailChimp task type. The MPD letters are here as we've always had them before, pre-call, reminder, and support letter. They're just tucked away because we don't use those as much. Most people do not. And down here in the other area, there's a new note field because sometimes you just want to make a note about a partner. For example, if they move, you want to remember their old address or something like that. And TNT will even do that automatically in some cases. And I'll show you that in a minute. The to-do task has been there before or unscheduled visit. Sometimes you just bump into a partner at the store or in an airport or you're at home visiting your home church and you bump into them at the before or after the service and you chat for a moment. It's not a real appointment because there was no challenge or no discussion of your ministry. It's just a hi, how are you? So that's an unscheduled visit. And then finally, there's a new task type called a present because sometimes partners give us tangible gifts such as a wedding or baby gift or something like that or we give them gifts as an expression of thanks so we give them a wedding gift or a baby gift or a graduation gift or a book or something like that so these are non-financial gifts so that's a present let's take a look at this task stuff a little bit more closely because there's some new improvements here. So let's say I have a thank for Fred and Wilma Flintstone. First, here's the save the description area. It used to be a button here that allowed me to select my saved descriptions. Well, now it's an autofill. So as soon as I start to type, it's going to fill in. I don't have any saved descriptions at this moment, but it's, it will autofill them. So I'll say, thank you for the baby gift. And I'll even you know, be descriptive and tell it what it was. Now here on the new details tab, there's a bunch of information. First of all, there's who did this task. So Clark Kent or Lois Lane, uh, Mrs. Clark Kent, who did that? I can select that. Um, or if it, I can leave it blank for both if it was an appointment and we were both on it. But now I can, I can check to share this with my MPD coach, which goes on the Excel MPD weekly update. Or if it's an appointment and it's a partnership challenge where I'm actually challenging them, I can record that separately from just a, any other appointment. If it's a thank, like this is, is thank, so it's automatically checked. A lot of times a present automatically checks as a thank as well, because if I give a present to a partner, it's always an expression of thanks for their partnership with me. Mass mailings, this is auto-checked for newsletters or e-newsletters. And then the special appeal gift appeal box has been moved up from below into the details area. Okay, now the gift input button, you've, if your organization sends gifts through the gift input area, nothing has changed in here, but at the very end, I see these three gifts that have come in. So here's a gift from Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Now, up here I see that they are $20 a month partners, but this is a $75 gift. Well, this is in response to a special gift appeal. So if I double click on that before I click next, I can select this appeal. And the same with George and Jane Jetson. I'm going to select this as this appeal and click OK. But for Arthur Lightyear, I'm going to leave that. And I click next and synchronize. And it's going to download those gifts. Now, instead of just saying congratulations, it's actually going to let me know that, hey, I've got three tasks that I need to do. And it's going to show me them by taking me to the task view. So look at what's new here. Now it doesn't just say send thank you for extra gift or special gift, depending on what it is. But it's going to say send thank you for the specific appeal that the gift was given for, as long as I select that before I download the gift. Okay, here in the history view, there's a, just a couple new things. First of all, there's a dynamic filter here. And so if I say 
how and type that in, it's automatically going to find any description with those letters in it. Or if I say thank, it's going to find any of these with thank in it. It's even going to search through the text of any notes that are in there, and so that's new as well. And sometimes I want to look at history just from a specific group of partners, so I can actually filter by the current group or by every person in my database, so that's nice as well. Okay, back here in the contact view, have you ever noticed that some of your partners have a bold and red address up here? Like, let's look at Donald and Daisy Duck. Okay, now this is, now it's orange instead of red, so it's not quite so glaring. But you may have these in your database, and you've often wondered, why is that? Well, there's a look up here called Unreviewed Account Information. It used to be called Address Phone Sync, because there's a diff discrepancy between the address you have and what your organization has. So I can select that, and it's going to search for all of those. In this case, I just have one, Donald Duck. And if I click on it's going to bring up this box of the information that my organization has on Donald and Daisy Duck. Now I can either ignore that if my address is more correct or I can accept it. And In this case I'm going to accept it and it's going to tell me exactly what it's going to do which is really nice. It didn't used to do that. It just did it without asking. And now notice it's not bold and colored anymore. And what I wanted to show you is that TNT automatically created a note history to show me that it did this change and here's the new address and the old address. And so if I ever have to come back and fix it, and this happened to me just last week, a donor's address was changed erroneously. My ministry updated the donor's address with his brother's address because they both gave a gift at the same time and one of them had moved and they updated the wrong partner. So it's nice that this donor address was automatically added so I was able to look that up. Now one other thing I want to show you here is this contact area. There's this view details. If you've ever looked here, you're missing out on a gold mine of information about your partners because you can view all of the history data in summary. So when was the last thank? When was the last phone call? The last appointment? Or in their giving, a lot of history about their giving. First gift, last gift, giving this year and last year and how many gifts they've ever given you and what's the total amount they've ever given you. And all of these fields are exportable using the group actions. I can say group actions, export current group, and export all of that giving and history information if I want to use it in Excel or something like that. Okay, I wish I had an hour or two to share about some of the many more exciting features, but I don't. So here's six things that I think you should do to take advantage of TNT MPD 3.0. Number one, of course, create a secure password and write it down. Number two, you want to update your username. If you were using your full name or if you and your spouse were sharing a, the same name on the login screen, go ahead and update that so that your it's just your first name. The reason is that now in TNT it's actually going to log who did these tasks, who made the phone call, or who wrote the thank you. And so you want that name to be as short as possible. If you're married, you want to upgrade your spouse's TNT MPD also. Now the database can be shared, but both copies on both computers, the software itself needs to be upgraded or you will not be able to update the new database. And at the same time, if the, your spouse's username needs to be shortened or added, go ahead and do that now as well. Number four, and this is probably the most time consuming one, is if you have any married couples who have, you have separate mobile numbers or email addresses, you want to go through and manually find those and correct them so that you'll have them as separate information. And this is especially critical for those PC users who are synchronizing with Outlook. Similarly, if you have organization contacts or business names where you're using a care of address in the address field, you want to go ahead and manually correct those as well. You may not have too many of those. I personally only have five or six of those. And finally, if you have any email newsletter saved groups or a user field, you'll want to watch the newsletter video to learn how to migrate those uh, quickly and easily into the new send newsletter area. Go ahead and watch the newsletter video that will describe that process uh, in detail and help you make the most of that. And also the newsletter video will be helpful just in learning more about the whole newsletter process. Okay, now that I've shown you the six things that I think you should do to get up to speed quickly, let me just show you two other things that I think you may find very helpful that are not directly related to the upgrade. First, a recent survey showed us that most people, more than 50% of TNT users, felt like they had to learn everything by trial and error. But there's actually an integrated help manual right inside TNT MPD, and it's more than 350 pages long. And you can press F1 to get help for any screen you're working at. So let's say you're logging history, and you want to uh, know about this, so just press F1 and it pops up a box about logging history and there's a step-by-step -step guide on doing that. So even though it's a big help manual, it's delivered to you on just the page you need at the moment you press F1. So that's a great way to get instant help. You can also go down here to the community button and go to the forums and ask your questions there. The second thing is, if you download gifts from your organization 
Keep in mind that sometimes gifts get corrected months after they're given because a donor uh, notifies the organization of a mistake of some kind. And uh, the TNT download is not going to catch that unless it's in the three-week download window. So what I do once a year or so is I come through and I change my start date way back to the beginning of the available data. And so this case, it's January 1st, 2007. And it just scans through all of those gifts. And look at that. There's two gifts that are missing from my database because they have probably been adjusted or corrected from the past. And so I can download those. Now, if there were some gifts that, that never showed up, it's actually going to remove those as well. So you want to pay attention to any of those that are deleted and ask yourself why that happened. So this just helps make sure that my ministry's data and my TNT data are completely in sync. All right, so that's my quick introduction to TNT MPD 3.0. I hope you find this, this great new upgrade uh, wonderfully helpful, and more importantly, that it helps you build better relationships with your ministry partners so that you can be more fruitful and effective in ministry. Thanks, and God bless.